Hi y'all! Welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to show you a quick little haul. I purchased these items um, the day before Thanksgiving. I had to run over to Michael's and pick up some um, craft supplies and storage boxes and there is a TJ Maxx right next door. So um, I wandered in and picked up quite a few things and wanted to show you um, what I had purchased. So the first thing is, I found this gorgeous little dress for Aria. It's got bunnies on the chest. This is all embroidered. It's just absolutely beautiful. It's got some detail on the sleeves and also down at the hem. It's a little bit of a darker shade than it's coming up on the camera. Um, it's, it's more purpley than it is pink. Um, but I just loved this and I thought it was so, so sweet. And it came with um, little leggings. I don't think the leggings are going to fit her. They look pretty, um, pretty tiny. But, um, you know, of course, she has plenty of tights and other things that she could wear with this. So that's the first item. Then I found these little shirts, which are up to seven pounds. And these are the Emily and Oliver brand, which I've never heard of. Typically, the babies um, need like true preemie clothing. They're fairly small for preemies, and a lot of the up to seven pounds stuff, like at Old Navy and Jamboree and other places like that, don't tend to fit them. But these were only, um, I think, like three ninety nine. So I figured for the price, it was worth getting them to try. And it's just two of the same one. They didn't have kind of a girly version. I'm gonna crochet them some little um, outfits to go with that. And then I found these little holiday rompers um, for Scarlet. I'm looking for a twin for Scarlet. And so these are the two that I found. It's just this kind of footless romper. The pink one says Merry and Bright um, and like a bright pink glitter print. The blue one says Merry Everything in like a silver glitter print. And um, these were, I think, $4.99, actually, $5.99, $5.99. And then I found this little Jamboree hoodie. It's got a little penguin on the chest. I love penguins. Um, I didn't find any of the other pieces to the set, but, you know, I already have kind of jeggings and navy blue pants and stuff like that, so I'll find something to put with it. And then this was my favorite. I found this little penguin outfit. I love penguins and um, have lots of penguin baby clothes, but this one is particularly precious. Just has this applique of this little penguin wearing earmuffs. And then the print is um, like an Oliver tree pattern. Penguins wearing hats, penguin wearing earmuffs. There's a mommy and a baby penguin together. And then the pants on the back um, have the same print, have the same applique as the bib. Really sweet. Then I got kind of this stash of stuff. Most of this was clearance, and that's why I bought it. So this little bib with stars is for Juno. It's like fuzzy on the back and muslin on the front. And um, I bought this one and the bib behind it because they were sufficiently small. And then I found this super cute little my first Easter bib, which I think this is really gender neutral. People might say this is boyish, but I think it's really gender neutral. And then I bought this pack of pacifiers for Juno um, because they have, this one has a moon and this one has a planet, this is Saturn, and this one has a rocket ship. Um, and I recently bought Juno some onesies that are kind of these neon -y colors like this, so I thought I needed to add these to Juno's collection. And then I also picked up, this is like a little mud pie set, the hat was missing so the booties were clearanced. And I actually wouldn't have liked the hat anyway because it's kind of this like camo print military hat. Um, but the booties I think are really adorable and since I crochet I can also kind of look at these um, as a pattern for making similar styled shoes. So these were two dollars. 
And then I found these socks, which I just bought them because they look so little. They're in to three months, but they look super tiny. And so there's just all different kind of colors. The girls have a lot of stuff in these colors. And then I found this sweet little lovey for Aria. So it's just a little bunny. It's just a little terry cloth square. It's this elegant baby brand. It was also on clearance for $2. And um, Aria has lots of stuffed animals, but she doesn't have like an official lovey. And I just thought this one was too cute to pass up. Then I purchased these two containers. So the unicorn there on the right and the bunny on the left. I am out of storage space. I'm out of storage space all the time. I'm out of storage space over and over again because I um, buy too much for the babies. So ignore the stuff in the bunny bin. That is not haul stuff. That is, I didn't have anywhere to put the toys that I was sorting. Um, so they ended up in there until I can finish sorting them. And there's some like passies and that kind of stuff in there too. I think a puzzle, a couple of puzzles. Um, but I just thought these were really cute. So the unicorn and the bunny. The bunny is, of course, for all of Aria's overflow clothes that don't fit in her boxes. And the unicorn, um, I haven't decided yet if that's going to be a toy bin or if I'm going to assign that to Ava Grace because she also has clothes that no longer fit in her storage boxes. And then the last thing that I got is I found this little rocker. Um, they also had a cradle and a high chair, and I have to say that I really loved the cradle, but the cradle was more money than I wanted to spend. I thought about getting the cradle. I may go back and see later if they still have them and they get discounted, um, but there was one cradle that had this print, and then there was one that had butterflies, and so the butterfly one was, of course, the one that I wanted. Um, but this little rocking chair is just super cute. It was like $12. This is actually a gift for a friend. I'm not going to be keeping it. Um, but I just thought it was really cute and it's about the right size for one of the preemie babies to sit in. Um, so I had to get that as well. So yeah, guys, that's everything. Um, you know, a decent amount, but not too much. Um, I do have an official Black Friday haul, but I did my Black Friday shopping half online and half in person. So I didn't want to make a video with the stuff that I had bought in person until the stuff that I bought online arrived. Um, so when that gets here sometime later in the week, then I will do a video and show you everything that we got. And that will probably, that should be my last haul for a while. I'm actually supposed to be saving money. Um, I've been laid off of my job for a couple of months now and I'm not really supposed to be spending, but, um, this time of year when the holidays are coming and, um, you guys know how it is. You want the babies to look cute and their little holiday clothes and stuff is on sale and everything like that. So it's really tempting. Um, but I'm going to try to make a early New Year's resolution and be a little bit better about not shopping for the babies for a while after I post that Carter's video. So anyway, this is everything that I found on Wednesday and thanks so much for watching. See you soon.